Good morning, guys. So we're here. This is our second workout together. Um, this one's going to operate just like the last one did. We'll go through three exercises, three times each. We'll rest for a little bit. Then we'll go and do three more exercises, three times each, rest for a little bit, and we'll finish with a core upper body finisher. All right. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun. Um, try to get, you know, your friends, family members together and do this with you to make it, you know, more, uh, communal based, uh, workout and, uh, yeah, just have fun with it. So our first exercise is going to be a paused squat. Now, if you guys remember with a regular squat, our feet are going to be about shoulder width apart, right? Our toes can be pointed slightly out. All right. The first thing that moves our hips, our hips go back. We bend our knees to 90 degrees and we hold this pause for one, two, three, and we come up. One, two, two, here we go. One, two, three, up. One, two, four. One, two, five. You'll notice I'm putting my hands out to counterbalance myself. One, two, six, you can do the same. One, two, seven, three more. One, two, eight. One, two, nine. One, two, ten. Good job. All right. Our next movement are going to be bench dips. Now, I have the option of having a nice bench right here because I'm in a gym, but here are some suitable substitutions if you don't have one, all right? Can't imagine a lot of you guys do, all right? Um, use a couch, use your bed, you may use a chair, but only use a chair if it's on like, say a carpeted surface, if it's up against the wall. And the reason that is, is I don't want you guys to fall down and hurt yourselves. And I definitely don't want you scraping up mom's kitchen floor, dining room floor, and getting you in trouble. Because if you get in trouble, I get in trouble. <laughs> All right, so what you're gonna do, put your hands on the edge of your bench, couch, bed, whatever it is you're using. You can put your feet out straight like this. This is the more advanced technique. Or just walk your feet in. If you're gonna walk your feet in, you want your heels right underneath your knee, all right? And what you do is straight up, your arms are straight just like this. Drop your butt as low as you can, and then your elbows are gonna be bent 90 degrees, and you're gonna drive up, that's one. We're gonna do 12 of these. Drive up, that's two. Drive up, that's three. Lower and up, that's four. Lower and up, that's five. This is working your triceps. And up, that's six. This is big muscle on the back part of your upper arms. Seven, very important to help you guys do push-ups and all kinds of upper body movements. Eight, nine, 10, we got two more, 11, and 12, good job. All right, key for all of those, go slow, go controlled, okay? All right, next one, we're gonna do some mountain climbers, all right? And let me go grab a watch real quickly. All right, so we're gonna set a timer for 30 seconds, okay? My timer's set, all right? What you do, you get in this nice push-up position and you're just gonna drive your knees up to your chest like that. Hopefully you guys have done mountain climbers before and have some experience with them. All right, this is for core. This is also a little bit of conditioning as well. All right, we got three, we got 30 seconds. Get in position and begin. Now go at a pace that's sustainable for you. All right, remember, you have 30 seconds here. If you're gonna go super fast at first, 
you might burn yourself out very early on, and then the rest of the workout is no bueno for you. We got seven seconds left. And time. All right, go ahead, grab some water. Remember, always have water nearby. Make sure you always have enough space because you don't want to hit anything. Always a good idea to have a towel too. Always bring a towel. Does any of you guys figure out what that's from? It's okay if you haven't. I'm not testing you on that. All right. Let's go in. Let's do our second set of pause squats. I'm going to do it from this angle. I want you guys to pay attention to my knees. All right. Our knees are going to go going to track out over our feet, okay? We never want them to go in like this, because that means our um, ligaments and our knees are very weak, and that can lead to injury. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, up. One, two, two, up. One, two, three, up. One, two, four, up. Squats are very fundamental movements. One, two, five. They're a foundation of strength in almost any one, two, six, in any form of exercise. One, two, eight. And they help in all sports and activities. One, two, nine. And one more. One, two, ten. Good job. Now, I'm gonna go through the next two exercises like we did in the first one, the basic ones. Um, and in the last slice, I'll show you a hard way to do it. All right? Even if you are a little advanced, hey, doing things the most basic way never hurt anybody, okay? So, that being said, I'm gonna put my feet out, get ready for our next set of dips, drop it low, drive it up, one. Drop it low, drive it up, two. Go down nice and controlled, three. And four, five, six, seven, eight, four more. Nine, ten, two more. Eleven, twelve. All right. My watch is all set and ready to go. Let's go ahead and get these mountain climbers in, guys. Let's go. In three, two, one, begin. Remember, go at your own pace. Just drive those knees one at a time up to your chest and just climb the mountain. 10 seconds in. Don't forget to breathe. 10 seconds left. And time. All right. Grab some water. Now that's high quality H2O. Now, how can we make these squats harder? Well, if you remember last week, I had a backpack out here. So if you've got a backpack full of books or whatever, load it up. The weight that's, you know, going to be challenging for you. You have to play around with it. 
all right? If things feel too easy, throw another book in there. If things feel too hard, take one or two books out. The importance is we don't want to load a movement up so that it compromises our form. So I got a backpack here filled with books and I think my computer, so I gotta be extra careful. You can either put it on the front or on the back. I personally like the back a little better. The front is going to activate more of your core though. All right? Just make sure it isn't too baggy, make sure it's nice and tight. All right? Face this way. And let's hit our last set of squats. All right? One, two, one, drive it up. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. Push those hips back, bend the knees. One, two, five. Hips back, knees down, two, six. Remember, keep those knees out over your toes. One, two, seven, three more. One, two, eight. One, two, nine. Last one, biggest one of the day. One, two, three, and that's it. Great job, everyone. Last set of dips. I'm gonna do the hard version here. I'm gonna do it with my feet out. All right, so there you can see my legs are extended now. All right, but I still drop down one and keep them straight. My butt's still going down to the floor. Elbows are still bending. That's three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, three more, 10, 11, and 12. All right, good job, everyone. Now, I think these mountain climbers are the hardest ones we do. All right, so find your spot and let's do it. All right, one, two, three, and go. And go find your rhythm and just keep it going. No need to push it. All right, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right. So that's gonna do it for this slice. Get a drink of water, catch your breath, and I'll see you guys in a minute or so for the next slice. Okay guys, welcome to slice number two of three. We're gonna start this off with a reverse lunge, okay? So, start. Let me demonstrate what a lunge looks like first. All right, we're gonna start with our right leg back first. Start with your feet together. So, reach back with that right. Now notice in this position, my knee is for the most part, it's over my ankle. It can lean forward a little bit over your shoelaces if that's okay. But, my knee is down on the floor and I come back up just like this. You can put your hands out to balance just like this, but one more example. Show you what it looks like in real time. I go down slowly, I tap my knee on the floor and I come back up. All right, let's do this for real. Let's start with our right foot reaching back first. Put your hands on your hips to balance and lunge back and come up. That's one, we got 10 of these. Two, three, reach back, four. It's best to look forward Instead of looking down because it helps you keep balance. That's five, six. And as you push up, we don't want to drag this back toe. We want to lift it up. And we want to push through the heel of our front foot. One more. All right, now let's switch legs. 
Some of you may have better balance on one foot than the other, and that's okay. Drive it down, come up, one. Two, go slowly on the way down, three, four, five, six, seven, three more. Eight, reach back, nine, and ten. Good job. I'll show you a harder way to do that next time. This next one is for, going to be for our arms. It's going to be for our shoulders. All right, it's going to be for our rear delts. If any of you are baseball or softball players, it's going to be really good for those rear shoulder muscles, those rear deltoid muscles to keep your shoulders nice and healthy. It has a long, complicated name, but I'm just going to call it swimming because it looks like you're swimming. All right, so you're going to need to lie down. All right, hopefully you guys can see me here on the camera. Arms up, arms straight out in front. Look straight ahead, toes off the ground. Reach back, rotate your palms up towards the side, and then rotate them back up so that they are facing each other here at the front. Go back. Just like that. Three. We got 10 of these. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. 10. Good. Now push up. If you guys, I don't know if you can make it out. I had a mat underneath me there. If you've got like a yoga mat or a towel, that like a beach towel or a bath towel that you want to use to do this on so that you don't get your floor all sweaty, by all means. Next one is a good old fashioned wall set. So find a wall, back and head up against it and bend down so that your knees are bent at 90 degrees. All right, give you five seconds to find a wall. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds starting now. And just sit here and chill out. Keep those shoulders, keep that back, keep that head all up on the wall. I'll tell you when time is up. This might be worse than the mountain climbers, depending on who you are. Almost there. All right. Time, relax. Let's get some water. I almost dropped my water. Get ready for our second set of reverse lunges. Now, here's a way to make it a little bit more challenging. Lunge back, don't go yet, lunge back, and then drive your knee. All right? I'm gonna give that a shot this time. All right? So here we go. Right leg down, drive up. Lunge back, and drive it up, that's two. If you want to stay with the regular version, that's fine. You do you. Four. You kind of want to pause at the top. And here it's beneficial to not go too fast. Also, notice three more. As I drive my knee up, my toes are pointed up. Dorsiflexion right there. One more. Track coach, I hate this position. I like this one better. All right, switch legs. Drive up, go 
down, up, go down, feel for the ground with your knee, and drive it up, point the toes up. Four more. Eight. Two more. Drop up. You can tell I'm getting a little wobbly. I got a little wobbly with those. All right. Second set of swimming. So find your spot on the floor. And we got 10 reps. Hands out in front. Bring them back, keep your arms straight, rotate your palms towards the ceiling. Come up, rotate. Three more. All right, that's 10. All right, get my timer set for wall set. Find your spot on the wall. And let's do this in three, two, one, go. And again, it's really like you're just sitting in a chair. Only you forgot the chair and use the wall instead. Ten seconds. I will tell you when to stop. If you've got your own timer, that's cool too. All right, time. All right, set this aside. Get a quick water break. All right. Now, this lap, now let's do this last slice of lunges, swimming, and wall sits. I'm gonna stick with the knee drive version of the reverse lunge. You guys, more than welcome to do whichever version is best for you. And I can't stress those words enough. Best for you. Do I want you to challenge yourself? Absolutely. But I don't want you to, you know, run yourself into the ground so that your day is ruined. So challenge yourself, but listen to your body. Okay? All right. And here we go. Start with my left leg first. Sometimes it switches depending on one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, check it out if you have to. All right, and let's go switch legs. I recommend not taking your sweet time when you switch legs because then it just becomes a different workout. It starts having a different purpose. I mean, in, I mean, in between exercises, yes, absolutely, rest. But if it's something where it's a single leg exercise, two more, just switch to the other leg and get it over with, all right? Let's get our last one of swimming. And remember this, you should be feeling this in the back of, back of your shoulders. It should be burning. All right, here we go. Keep those arms straight. That's the essential detail here. It's a shame I'm not an actual good swimmer. Two more. Right. 
grab your watch. And if you want to make these wall sits challenging, here's my suggestion. Here's the backpack, load it up with books, set it on your lap. <laughs> and let's do it, guys. Or if you have a little brother or a little sister, ask them to sit on your lap. <laughs> Would not recommend a parent or an older sibling. That might hurt. 10 seconds. Just breathe. And relax. Alright, you guys take a quick break and I'll see you guys back here for the third and final slice. Okay guys, this is our third and final slice and I got good news and I got maybe some not so good news depending on who you are. This it will be the shortest, that's the good news, and I think it's good news, I think it's good news and good news. Uh, the other good news is it involves two of my favorite movements, planks and push-ups. All right, so what we're going to do, we'll hold a plank for 10 seconds, then we'll do 10 nice and controlled push-ups. Now remember, there were a couple ways I told you you could do push-ups. You could do the regular version, like this, you know, hands stacked underneath shoulders, Toes curled, legs and back straight, and then go down to where your elbows are about 90 degrees. The other one, good old fashioned on your knees, but notice how from my knees to my shoulders, it's a straight line. All right? Or use the bench, or in your case, maybe your bed or a couch, right? Or like I said earlier, a chair on a carpeted floor pushed up against the wall. All right, incline variation, just like this. All right, find which one works best for you. I'll be doing mine here on the floor, and I encourage you guys to try that out too. All right, what we'll do is we'll hold the plank 10 seconds, and then 10 nice and controlled push-ups. Ready? Let's do it. And we got three rounds of this, all right? So, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ten push ups. Down, one, down, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Hold this for ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and a half. Ha ha. One, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it. Last one, ten, nine, eight, seven. Hey, you guys see Cobra Cry? Season three? Huh? Six, five, four. What about Mandalorian? Three, two. Heard Sasha Banks is in it. One, ten more. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, ten. All right, all right, all right. Ugh. So, you guys, that's it. Three rounds of three or four different exercises. I know I can't count, it's okay. Um, hope you guys feel amazing. Make sure you guys do little things so that you don't feel sore. All right? 
So we'll do a cool down after this. Um, I encourage you guys throughout the day, drink water, all right? Drink water. All right, we're gonna talk about nutrition next quarter. So hydrating, super important. Eating the right foods, all right? Cut back a little bit on the sweets and the sugar and the processed fast food. Have good sources of protein. You know, eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. And above all else, make sure you guys get enough sleep. All right? That's gonna help you guys get stronger. It's gonna help you guys feel a whole lot better. And it's gonna help you guys up here too. Focus in school and just have a better overall outlook. Hope you guys also had a lot of fun today. I have fun as always with you guys. And I'm having a lot of fun doing these. And I'm gonna continue to do them. All right? Take care, guys.